Today, our viewer has asked, I am on a whole food plant-based diet and I'm having trouble with loose stools, no form. What could remedy this? Mm. Okay, well, this answer is going to range from just normal colon physiology to possibly some early disease states. Um, as far as uh, passing stools, uh, we Americans who you grow up eating meat and dairy, most of us are used to passing hard stools that are difficult to push out. Uh, and as we go more and more plant-based, our stools generally hold more water in the stool mass, so they naturally get looser. And the mark of a healthy whole food plant-based diet is passing these large, soft, easy to pass uh, stools that um, hold together, you know, they're generally formed. But a lot depends on the meal that you ate the night before or six or eight or 14 hours before. Uh, it depends how much fiber really gets down to the colon and how much water that stool mass holds on to. Uh, there's two kinds of fiber generally. There's the uh, tough insoluble fiber that doesn't absorb water. Things like uh, lettuce and celery. If you put a stalk of celery in a glass of water, it doesn't absorb any water. Those, that's insoluble fiber. Uh, and that's why you want to be eating lots of salads. We need that. But also there's the soluble fiber that absorbs water, rice and oatmeal and things that, will, that, that puff up when you put them into a container of water. Uh, and we need that in our diet as well. And a healthy stool mass has roughly 50-50 uh, mix of both insoluble and soluble fiber. Uh, and so the rice and the beans that you eat at dinner time provide soluble fiber, but then that nice salad you had and the vegetable soup provide insoluble fiber. And by the time 12, 18 hours later, that stool mass goes down to the colon, it should be uh, soft, but, but generally formed. Uh, so from that, we can deduce that if the stools are consistently very loose, uh, then you probably you need more of the soft, absorbable fiber uh, to hold the stool mass together. So more oatmeal, more rice, more quinoa, things that hold on to water and will give you a more formed stool. And you might want to cut back uh, on some of the hard, shiny vegetables uh, a little bit. Uh, now, uh, there are some foods that have a natural laxative quality to them, and those are generally fruits. And if you're eating lots and lots of fruits, uh, that can uh, hurry things through the intestine and uh, give you loose stools. And dried fruits are kind of notorious for that. And we take advantage of that uh, when we recommend uh, prunes and other dried fruits uh, for people who have constipation problems. So by and large, it's a matter of deciding whether you need uh, more soft fiber in your diet and getting that in with more oatmeal in the morning, more uh, quinoa and millet uh, for the evening meal. Uh, that's normal stool physiology. And and it really doesn't make a heck of a lot of difference. Uh, the truth of it is, uh, as things pass through your intestine, how much water gets absorbed. If the stools are a little on the loose side, sometimes that's fine. The stool's consistency passes through phases. Uh, and for a week or so, you might notice some really loose stools, and then you'll change what you're eating and the bacteria in your gut will change and say the, the, that slows down the transit of the stool mass to the colon, which allows more water absorption so it becomes a more formed stool. Things are gonna naturally fluctuate. And so not to be too concerned if, if for a few days you're still a bit on the loose side. That said, you wanna make sure you're not looking at some early disease state. And the two most common, of course, uh, are infections, if you've you know, traveled somewhere and you've picked up an intestinal bacteria, uh, that can certainly hurry things through the intestine and, and give, uh, give loose stools. And, so, and sometimes, and this is very rare in people eating whole food plant-based diets, uh, but uh, early cases of colitis or Crohn's disease can come on uh, with, uh, with, with loose stools. So for that reason, uh, work with the, uh, the different types of fiber in your diet, cut back on the fruit sugars, um, add more uh, of the soft absorbable fiber. Uh, but if uh, week after week after week, you're still passing very, very loose unformed stools, uh, then you may want to go talk to your family doctor, send off the stool specimen for, uh, for culture and for parasites, especially if, if you've traveled recently to, uh, to a foreign land. 
So by and large, uh, trust your colon. It, it knows uh, what consistency uh, to pass the stools out with. But if they're very loose uh, week after week, then check it out with your family doctor. But it's usually nothing too serious. Hi, everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.